Hi, I'm Orly. And I'm Noelle. And we're here from Prevail's Compliance Quarter. Today's CMMC domain that we're going to talk about is audit and accountability. Noelle, why don't you tell us about this one? Sure thing, Orly. Audit and accountability ensures that there are sufficient controls in place to provide audible evidence for system transactions and that key records are available for a sufficient amount of time. So here um, we've got audit and accountability. Yep. So in this case, this is one of the things that I think a lot of organizations haven't gotten started on yet. And that's because there are significant technology investments in collecting logs and things like that for most organizations. So when we have that, sometimes we're holding off on getting the documentation part started before, uh, you know, before we actually get going on the technology side of things. So in the audit and accountability family, we have a requirement to identify all the auditable events we want to be represented in logs. So even before we start shipping those logs, we can maybe have a discussion on which ones we want to generate in the first place. And the best way to do that is to spec those out in a document. So in this case, I think we've just got some, some Windows event IDs for a Windows machine and the nature of, of the event, a description of it, things like that. That's going to be really critical for, I think it's 3.3, where you actually do a review to make sure you're collecting all the events you do want to collect and that maybe you can get rid of some that are high signal to noise ratio or not useful or clogging up, you know, your retention policy. So those are some of the things that if we have that written down, that kicks off the ability to make decisions about them. So I let me that's... just jump in with a quick question here. Um, it seems to me that it might be unclear to someone whether an event should be audited or not. Do you have any insights on whether an event, how uh, companies can determine, make that kind of bifurcation of, yeah, this is something we should keep or something we should not? It, I think it just comes down to a matter of how useful that logged event is. Uh, is that particular event showing you something about the network that's useful in the investigation or analysis or response to, uh, you know, unauthorized activity in the system. If, if that's not true, then the question becomes, do I need it? And if the event is more troublesome than the value it presents, so it's creating a lot of false positives, or there's just a lot of these events generating that don't allow you to see the forest for the trees, then it might not be useful to continue collecting. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this one, please check out the 13 others we have in this series.